Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to AV Astronomy. And if this is your first time stopping by, thanks for watching. And I know there's a noisy fan in the background, but we've also got noisy crickets, so I figured it's either noisy crickets or noisy fan, and I'd rather have the cool breeze. So hopefully you can hear me okay through all this. So tonight, I decided I had so much fun with this setup here last week. I'm gonna give it another go this week and chase after the North American Pelican Nebula. And I didn't, you know, looking back in Stellarium, I saw how close that is to the Seda region that I imaged last week. And I thought, how cool would it be to do a good session on this target here and then combine them and do my first mosaic. I've not done a mosaic before, so this is new territory for me. But I feel like based on the image results I got last week, it should, it should turn out to be a pretty good, pretty good uh, image there. So that's what I'm going after tonight. I'm going to use the same settings I did last week. I'm going to do 60 second subframes and try and get 200 plus of them. Get them all stacked up in DSS and then edited and processed in Photoshop. So for those of you that didn't see the video I had last week on the SATA region, the setup I'm using tonight is the Skywatcher Star Adventure Pro Pack. My Canon 77D with the 100 millimeter f2.8 macro lens, and I'm going to be imaging all of that at f4. Uh, the reason why I go with f4 instead of wide open at 2.8 with this particular lens, even though it's a good quality lens, uh, there is some serious color fringe that occurs that anything below f4 with this setup. So right at f4, it knocks the color fringe out, which should overall improve the image quality and the end result. The less you got to do in post-processing to correct an image, the better your image is going to be in the end. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get polar lined here, get everything started, and get this underway. So earlier this morning, I reviewed the images I took last night. I was able to get about, I think it was about 180 subframes. And just like the previous session, about one out of every 20 or, or so, I had to cull out because of the error in the mount. But another thing I noticed, and I lost some frames due to this as well, is I, I should have checked focus later on in the evening, rechecked focus. Um, even though I've been doing this for a while now, you still sometimes make the same mistakes. <laughs> and um, as temperature drops, it can shift the focal plane on your lens, telescope, whatever. So uh, there was a slight change in focus. It wasn't much, but it was enough to, to show some color fringe on the images. I haven't, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep them or not, but um, anyway, it's just one of those things to watch out for. So... On another note, I know uh, my videos come across as, uh, or may come across as like everything just goes smoothly and um, from start to finish, and that's just not the case. So I wanted to give you guys a little snippet, a little, <laughs> a little taste of what goes on behind the scenes, in between cuts uh, that I've made and what I deal with pretty much every time I'm filming or videoing myself for these videos. So here you go, enjoy. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. Um, I was able to get about 43 fang, frames and um, I'll be posting the, the results here. Could be Maxitov Newtonian owners, uh, owners, Maxitov Newtonian owner, owners. As you can see guys, I. Had to make a few inch. Uh, I had to make a few adjust. In, uh, I had to make a few adjustments on the scope. Wait for the bird. Really? Come on. 
All right, guys. Okay, guys. All right, guys. So tonight may be the only clear night I have. I might get, the, oh, there's a giant cockroach right there on the daggum. Whoa, big boy. <laughs> oh, daggum Madagascar hissing cockroach. That sucker was huge. <laughs> Jeez, criminy. Something I was thinking about today. So, I wanted to uh, like do heater shields or a guide camera. Yeah, I can, the door squeaking and all that, we can hear that. So I just waste my film, go ahead. And y'all gonna, I'm gonna hear everything in the background. Y'all can wait like five more minutes. Go all the way to the fort. All the way to the fort, go, go, go. Which should, uh, which had, will have the same or sim very similar focuser setups. Hope you guys enjoyed that little bloopers reel. There is actually a lot more where that came from, but in order to salvage a little bit of dignity, that's all I'm going to be posting today. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I want to give a big thank you and shout out to Ruse with Astrophotography. If you're not subscribed to Ruse, you need to go ahead and do that right now. He's got an excellent channel and website and puts out some incredible content. And he has been a big help in supporting me. And I really appreciate that, Ruse. So thank you. Also want to give a shout out to Ray with Ray's Astrophotography. Another excellent channel and has been another partner um, in, this, in this whole journey of mine. So thank you, Ray, for everything. Chuck with Chuck's Astrophotography. I want to thank you, Chuck. You do some great work and I uh, appreciate the kind remarks and comments. Astro Stacy is another excellent astrophotography YouTube channel you need to check out. Um, and I want to thank you, Stacy, for your support as well. I know I'm missing some people, but um, just wanted to thank all of you guys. Uh, all my Twitter followers, YouTube subscribers, Instagram followers, thanks. Appreciate the support, and let's keep this thing going.